Hey, what's up guys? So today what I have for you guys is a review of this flexible tripod by this brand called Goo Photo. And Goo Photo, they actually sent me this for free so that I could test it out. And my goal in this video is to see if this is a viable option for a cheap flexible tripod. So I'm pretty curious to see how well this works considering its low price. If we take a look at the Amazon page, you'll see that it goes for $13.99. And you can actually also get this with a wireless remote. And if you want that one, it goes for $15.99. The one that I have in here does not come with the wireless remote. So anyways, I will have these Amazon links down in the description below in case you wanna check those out for yourself. And let's go ahead and get started with an unboxing. So as you can see, it comes with the tripod and the holder for your smartphone. And when I saw this, I was immediately disappointed that it didn't come with an adapter for your GoPro and that there's no way to attach your GoPro to this. Because if you look at the pictures on their Amazon page, you'll see that they have pictures of a GoPro attached to this, which kind of implies that it will come with a GoPro adapter or that there is some way to attach a GoPro to this. And actually, I was most interested in this tripod because I thought I would be able to attach my GoPro to it, but I can't. So if you do want to use a GoPro with this, you'll have to buy a GoPro tripod adapter. I think I've seen them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So that is kind of a bummer just off the bat because the pictures on the Amazon page imply that you'll be able to attach a GoPro to it. So anyways guys, I went ahead and set the tripod up. I attached my iPhone to it. I gave it a good little shake around just to see how sturdy it was. And I gotta say it did a pretty good job of holding my iPhone in place. I then went ahead and attached my DSLR camera to the tripod. I gave it a good little shake. And of course, my DSLR camera is quite a bit more heavy than my iPhone, and I was actually impressed by how sturdy the tripod was. There was minimal bending of the legs, I had the thumb screw on the tripod secured pretty tightly, and it didn't move around when I shook the tripod. I then went ahead and stood the tripod up on my desk with my DSLR camera attached to it. Initially, I was a little concerned that the base of the tripod wouldn't be wide enough and that my DSLR camera would topple over, but I actually didn't have that issue and it actually seemed pretty stable. And of course guys, now it's time to test out the flexibility of the legs on the tripod. So if you take a look at this right here, this is as wide as the legs can go out. And let's just go ahead and bend one of the legs and see how easy it is to bend. I did a full U right there. Let's go ahead and just bend all the legs. Now the cool thing about this guys is, is that what I'm noticing right now is that when you make a bend, it stays in that bend. It doesn't kind of move back or anything. So watch this. And look, it's not moving. So there's no doubt about it. This tripod is very flexible. Let's go ahead and try to attach it to a few things and see how well it holds up as well as how well it is able to grip to other surfaces. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna attach it to, you know, a couple things and we'll see how well it does. Okay guys, so as you can see, I did a couple of kind of extreme tests with this tripod just to kind of see if it had any limitations. And I don't actually recommend that you try the test that I did. I just wanted to see how well this tripod would hold up in kind of extreme conditions, like being attached to my ceiling fan and stuff like that. So I don't actually recommend that you try that yourself. I did it so you don't have to. 
But I gotta say, I was pretty impressed by how well this thing worked. I feel like the legs have some pretty good grip on them. And I know that you can see it on the camera right there. Um, you can see that there is a texture on the legs of the tripod. And as well as that, the tripod legs are kind of a rubbery material, which has some pretty good grip to it. So I think that's how it's able to hold on to things so well. So in the end, guys, when I started this review, I kind of had a sour taste in my mouth because I wasn't able to attach my GoPro to the tripod. But after seeing how well this tripod performed, I'm actually pretty happy with it. And I gotta say, guys, for a price tag of $13.99, in my opinion, that's a really good deal. It's not a lot of money and this tripod will be able to get you some pretty cool shots. And I actually forgot to mention, there is a little loop right here on the tripod where you can actually attach a lanyard. I think that's pretty cool. The only other thing that I'm not sure about is how long this tripod will hold up. So if you guys want me to do like an update in like six months or a year or something like that, let me know down in the comments below. If there's enough interest, I will let you guys know how this tripod holds up over the next six months or a year. I do actually plan on using this tripod on a regular basis. So I'm curious to see how long it lasts. But as of right now, I'm completely satisfied with it. But anyways, guys, I would love to know what you guys think about this Goo Photo flexible tripod. Let me know down in the comments below. And once again, I will have the Amazon link for this tripod down in the description below in case you want to check it out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out tremendously. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notifications button. I post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.